Okay, it's me again. Today I'm going to show you how to take the RTSP stream produced by a deep stream application and change it over to HTTP using FFmpeg. So, uh, this works out pretty good. I know you can do this a lot of ways and a lot of times I use VLC, but uh, I wanted to put a way where it's all all going to be on the Jetson or the Xavier. Everything I, I wanted everything done on it. So uh, to start this, first of all, we have to install um, FFmpeg, and I'll put a link to this my GitHub repo right here. And uh, these are all the instructions to install it. You basically just like sudo app update, sudo app install FFmpeg. And then once you do that, you got to make some changes to the uh, config file. So we go up here. Now, uh, when, when, when they first loads in, this is 8090. And it says my port was busy, so I just changed it to 8080. And then uh, the other thing I had to change was, uh, what are we doing here? Let's go back here right here max bandwidth this was at a thousand I had to change it to ten thousand because I was getting like a an error saying that it couldn't read anything so once I changed it to ten thousand um, it just worked fine and then sc scroll down all the way to the bottom because you're gonna add some uh, some uh, you're gonna add this so I've got, let me see, let's get this all in here. Yeah. Anyway, so over here, I've got over here, uh, will you log into here? Um, and then you I'll add this stuff. Now, and this is what the stream needs to to able to work. Now you can see I have it added over here. Uh, allow local hosts, so that allows your local hosts allow. And this is the IP address of my Nano. And the reason I put that down there is so other um, addresses can access it. And then you have to put all this in uh, camera one MJPEG because that's what you're going to call when you do the HTTP. And then you you want uh, the format of MPJPEG, uh, frame rate of 30. And then the video size, uh, the video bit rate, uh, that was at like 2,000 when I started. I put it at 4,000. And then uh, you do have add all this. And then you do a control X. And then if you put it in there new, it'll ask you to save it and, uh, uh, you know, and then enter yes and save. Now, I didn't have to kind of restart this. Usually a lot of times when you do this kind of stuff, you have to restart it. It, it accepts it immediately. So once we do that... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, we need to start a, uh, let's do this, just get it out of here. So, and there's some instructions on how to do this all on my GitHub repo. So you put this right there, we're going to come back to that later. So first of all, we need to make a, um, a deep stream, RTSP stream. So what I did is I just grabbed a, one of the, uh, one of the deep stream applications this one, source 8, uh, 1080p, DC, interfer, tracker, tile, display, you know, and this is just one of the ones in the in the folder. And the only things I really modified were, I mean, I, I added all this stuff for all the cameras and stuff, but the only really you need is one, we're going to do a webcam. So let's see, where do we got that source, source, listen, I got this source activated, so this is just my one webcam. You got it uh, set to one. Uh, you can see everything here, 30 frames per second, dev node zero. And I've just got, so I'm gonna activate my webcam. And then you're gonna come down here to the sync two, and you're gonna enable it. And uh, this pretty much sets up your streaming for everything right here. Um, the RTSP port 8554, uh, your, your bit rate. So this is all you need. And everything else you can leave the same. You might want to come down here and enable uh, live live source if you haven't. And then a batch size of 8 and, and, and everything else should be the same. 
So this is the one we're going to use to produce our RTSP stream. So let's close this, and I got this up here. I've already seeded into that seed, seeded into that file, and I've got it going here. So we're going to press Enter, and we should start uh, producing a RTSP stream. All right. So we're, it says we're producing a stream. So uh, and then we go up here. So we got now we got to start our server. Now uh, I had to do sudo ff server, and because it just it, I must need uh, the that uh, that kind of access. So basically, you just do sudo ff server, enter, and it, it just starts up just like that. And then what down here is um, this is just going to start the to take the stream, the RTSP stream, and convert it to uh, HTTP. Now, as you can see. This is uh, my IP address for my computer. Now, you can put local hosts in there, you know, if, if you want to just do your, your locally, or you can put your IP address to your nano. Same thing over here. This is the uh, 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 IP address of my uh, nano, and uh, this is so everybody can access it. You can put local hosts here too, but if you do that, the HTTP st stream will only show up on your local nano and as you can see this one's coming out 8554 ds dash test this one's going to come out 8080 camera dot but it's going to be uh, uh, mpeg so let's start this see and it's running and this is the frames per second then if you go up here, let's see if it is, a lot of times it shows that it's running. See, this shows the server has captured it and it's running and it's doing the conversion. So once we got that, so we got our uh, RTSP stream being produced by a deep stream application. We got our server running and we've got our uh, the stream we want converted and it's doing the conversion. So all we need now is just a, a VLC or a player like this. So we just do this. Um, want to open media you want to open uh, network so uh, we put in uh, what do we got H let's go down here make it easier on me right here right here now you can either put localhost or or whatever right here I'm going to use my IP address. It's 172.16.2.55. And then you want to put camera.mjpeg. So, and so what it is is this is now so just play and you can see it's me. You know, there's some lag in there, but it's not that bad, you know. And so basically, we've taken the um, RTSP stream, and we've converted con the deep stream RTSP stream, and we've converted it over to HTTP. Because I know a lot of times it's easier to deal with HTTP in some applications than RTSP. All right. Well, good luck with that. Um, I hope this all works out for you. Like I say, I'll, I'll leave a link to my GitHub repo, and all the instructions should be in there to how to do it. Thank you. Bye.